ran out of space again. Not a surprise, though. You should have a part two for my videos. Um, so I was getting to basically the end of the review anyways. Um, I replaced the rear pin with a Wii pin because it has ridges on it that kind of lock into the uh, rear of the little receiver right here. Another issue I had with this gun is the pin would come out, like, after shooting it for a little bit. It would get loose and fall out just easily. Um, but there, other than that, though, to be brutally honest, this gun isn't the best, but it's an okay starter gun because now that the azimuth um, hammers are out, you can use those um, in these, and they work pretty good. They kind of take some kind of break in though, like it'll light cycle a little bit because it's a little, it's a little, it'll grind against the the valve knocker a bit. But after after it works itself in, it fires completely like it's stock. It's good. Um, from what I've noticed, after building my old t Marui 18C, the best thing to do is to keep your gun as stock as possible, unless you have to replace something. And even at that point, if you can, replace it with stock parts, because they always work the best instead of upgrades. I've had a lot of issues in the past with Garter, um, UA not UAC, I just had a lot of issues with Garter and AIP. They didn't work right. Um, they caused a lot of issues, and it was hard to kind of narrow down the issues, because you wouldn't really know what it was until you really, you know, looked into it. Because with the hammer, when it comes forward right here, um, it's very, it's pretty smooth. It's not the smoothest thing. It's not as smooth as my ATM, but it's, it's quite smooth. Like it's not a lot of resistance when you feel it come forward. It's just, it's really smooth. So it doesn't really grind against anything, as you can see. There's a lot of little grease there, but when you fire it, it's good. Um, you can use a lot of real steel parts in the in this gun, which is nice. But another a hard part about this gun is to get the slide back on without holding it. So if you if you don't hold it like this, so what I what I usually do here's a little tip if you ever get a Stark Arms or if somehow stumble upon a Skeleton Sidearms 18C, is if you're holding it like this, try to keep pressure on the spring guide and as you're pulling it on, make sure you pull down the uh, this or you'll break the hop up unit and pull the slide back and there you go. Make sure this is all the way up before letting the slide release. Sometimes these get a little jammed and then the slide just comes straight off. But uh, yeah, would I recommend buying this gun if if you're really tight on but if you're really on a tight budget? I guess um, another misconception that I've heard is that Tokyo Marui mags don't work in this gun. They do. Um, it really depends on the gun though. I've gotten models of these where they don't fit. It really depends on the, I would assume the make and the fitment of the magazine release. Sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't. I've had time, well, they still fire most of the time, but they don't fit, like, they don't click into the mag release. Um, this model, personally, this one, this one works fine with Marui mags. I've used it. They work better with Marui mags, to be honest, than they do with any other mags. Um, this one still fires fine, though. The WeTech mags, I can I can assure you, work, at least in my model. I would upgrade the gaskets, though. I personally used a Marui gasket, and now it fires a lot better, but... Um, yeah, it locks into place, as you can see. The Wii Tech ones are a little off on their own as well. Locks back and all that. Uh, I would do a little bit of a firing demonstration, but I'm really low on gas, so I need to keep the gas in there. But yeah, all in all, this gun's alright. Uh, I would not hit the slide release like I am. Though. Personally, for me, this gun's a beater gun, but as you can see, it's starting to ruin the slider here. I had to grind some of it off to make it kind of straight and the lock back again, but... It's a little, it comes a little, it stops a little more forward than it should because it should stop. It's not a massive difference, but it is sort of noticeable. But uh, yeah, I would recommend, I would refrain from hitting the slide release on any pistol because that will eventually happen and your slide won't lock back anymore. Anyways, that's kind of it. Um, I would recommend this gun if you're on a tight budget because Skeleton Sidearms or Stark Arms isn't com complete, like it's not that bad, but they're... You need to have some aftermarket parts eventually, pretty sooner, or sooner mostly than later. Anyways, thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe, thanks.